I've worked in this this abattoir for nearly 10 years and I have never ever seen it like this never in the last three years you know all all the we can help or we're looking at this and we're looking at that they're looking at the wrong thing it's the live export that's destroying us now and they have to realize that nobody's working today and yet there's a boat with thousands of cattle leaving thousands like you know that's a whole month worth of work for us so they've got to stay up here in the north queensland for us to have work yeah at the moment just on um uh, unemployment benefits uh, me and my my uh, fiance and um, yeah, it's just struggling at the moment uh, lately it's been getting pretty bad where you know you've, you've got a few bills coming coming in I guess a lot of people's in the same boat but uh, yeah just got so many bills that yeah you know can't really afford you know luxuries and that and we've even had to go down to the, the local community center and grab food vouchers and that and uh, I remember being a bit younger and that I used to look at them kind of things and, and laugh and say, oh, you know, that's silly or I'd, I'd never do that. But, you know, you start to appreciate things like that where people donate food and, um, you know, money vouchers so you can, you can live in that. Every boatload of cattle that leave this country leave the Australian worker. And I know what it feels like without work. Um, the stand downs that we have had ourselves and it's, it's no good saying that the live cattle export doesn't contribute it certainly does because it's just got worse and worse to the extent that as I've got the amount of days that in 2008 we lost 26 days on day shift 2009 were 22 2010 already 10 days and one of which was this week the whole planned complete shifts 70 days in 2008, 56, 2009 and 24 already this year. It, it is affecting us and it affects you in just being able to cope with your everyday life. Um, I walk around, I see young people who are struggling to keep their houses, keep their cars, you know, to the extent that put food on the table, meet all these bills and then if they fly throws you a whirly and we've got one of those we have a child now an adult child that is at home that needs a surgery that can save her life mm -hmm. and um, two days a week the savings dwindle you know you've got to pay for these things up front and if, if it has to be done it has to be done now and who's going to help us the government is still shipping cattle offshore yeah we're virtually looking at the trucks driving straight past the abattoirs. Um, yeah, they, they've actually built a road that comes straight out here to the port and... I mean, that's just hair-raising. Our people who are prepared to work hard should be allowed to work hard. I listen to um, a lot of, like I said, the younger ones. I sit with them and I said to them at first, we've been there, done that, you know, um, we know how you feel. And then to think, I've gone back there again. It's not 